against me to tell my gosh, they crashed too back here. And I was asked to be to be interviewed by by someone. So someone saw it as a sad full foot and she was off. I was a championship champion I was the champion season one champion last year. <laughs> oh well this year. And so so as for that reason I'm being interviewed, I think. I ended up with a two two record, I believe. I will check on that. So I got it, go ahead and start as start asking what. Okay. So for those of people that do not know, what is cowball? Cowball is a game where well, the whole point of it is it's kind of what I when I first um did this, I kind of said that it was a hybrid between A, soccer, B, basketball, and C, football slash rugby. So that is pretty accurate, for example. So there's penalties, of course, along the way, as every sport has penalties, so that's the last time I checked. And so you just try to get what used to be this cow into the goal. Now this thing is still under repair, we're trying to get it fixed. And yeah, so I've I I've totally gone. I finished the two two record and winning the Mountain Dew Bowl and the MLG Bowl. So uh, yeah, so we just try to get into the goal and see who reaches ten first. Okay. Um. So how does the championship and these games work? How did you and your team <laughs> or people? Decide how this game would work and how your championship is going to be lined up. Well, originally I invented this sport, and it was originally just something we did in the basement just because we were bored. But now it has become something that we have decided to be organized. So this playoff is actually the same way the college football playoff works, unless for any of you guys watch college football. So what happens is the four top players will be pulled out and will be in a postseason playoff consisting of three, four games. Those three, two games, and this year it was the MLG, oh, Mountain Dew Bowl and the Rita Bowl. And then the winners of those will go on to the MLG Bowl or the championship, and the loser of those bowls will go on to the loser bowl. So okay. that's how the playoff works. The, okay. only, the only difference between the college football playoff and this playoff is the loser bowl. Okay. So, who was your enemy in the championship who does who had to go to the losers championship okay so it was me and will Wagons. he was number three. Oh, he was number two i was number three we played in the mountain Dew Bowl. Mount, uh, Mount, yeah, Mount Bowl. he ended up going to the losers bowl i ended up going to the mlg bowl and on the dorito bowl it was like a boy position eight and number four and dan for 88 who was a giant at the time but Will Will Swaggins have proved that wrong, but he can still not grasp that number one spot in the rankings. They played in the Dorito Bowl. Danny, Dan for 88 went to the MLG Bowl, and Lego Boy 378 went to the Loser Bowl. Now, the Loser Bowl, I have these videos up on YouTube, by the way, if you need to look for them. Loser Bowl was Will Will Swaggins and, and Lego Boy 378. Lego Boy 378 had been our worst player literally the whole season. He started in a preseason ranking in our preseason playoff at number one. So technically, this was actually the second unofficial. Oh, this is the first official season, but second season technically. So, so yeah, he had actually started at number one in the preseason rankings, but he dropped when he lost, got killed by me, and he just kind of ended up with a little player. He surprised everyone by pulling off our win, but out of Wilbur Swaggins, I was actually really surprised myself, and I ended up pulling on a win on Dan for 88. Probably the gum pole was the gum ball, the ball we used instead of the cow ball due to the pails, was probably my biggest advantage in that game. Okay. So... What did everyone have in common during this game, and what gave them specific advantages towards their opponent? Well, I mean, everyone is different sizes, everyone has different speed. For example, Lego Boy 378, he's a bit tricky, he's tricky and I think he performs more strategic. Well, Sragan's kind of the same, although he's a bit faster. Dan for 88, he's just straight up physical and good. And my, my thing is just to be as unpredictable as possible and see how much gold you can get. Okay. Um this, now this might be cool, so this might be different. Yeah. And then maybe later we'll interview some of the other players. But for now, um so 
If in the in the next seasons, do you plan on making this game bigger, perhaps more like in a bigger area? Would that be nice? Yes, but so far I do not have access to facilities that will not allow me to do that. As my basement is all I have is long, that's not. And so far, last time I checked, I don't think I can get any walls. So I think this is where we're stuck at. But in the future, I mean, we've already doubled the size of Play Amount, so we're gonna have eight people entering this year. Me, uh, the four or the three original people. The fourth newcomer, Dan for 88, who came in season one, or the second season. And we have, of course, we have Bob, like, uh, MLG Dom, Duck, Taylor Swift, and Captain Blumish, who will all be joining us in season two. And I'm looking forward to this, because this will definitely give the playoff. It will send people home, and it will also give people, or give people a chance to rise, and it will definitely show who's worse and who's better. Not that this is really, this is really, of course, just for the fun of it. But, I mean, there's always competitive, competitive stuff in sports. Okay. So, how do you think the people that are new, as in, I'm, I've heard that you're making postseason practice games, and you'll be up uploading them soon, I'm guessing? Uh, uh, well, Okay, well, uh, to answer your um, first question about the postseason thing, postseason, I'm planning to do postseason practice later on, and I don't know how we're going to do that, but we will be practicing, and I'll see how many people we can get over. And those people who come over will be interviewed. So, and what else do you so what is And the other part was, um, uh, I just skewed my mind. <laughs> Moving on. Um, so... During this game, who is the referee? Do you is like the are the players the referee or is there a separate referee? So, if so you how does watch it work? these games, you probably will know this, but of course the interviewer is talking about this and he has not watched any games so which is okay. So this if you're new, you're just kinda like, Oh, this looks interesting. You click on it and you're some weirdo and just some kind of random stranger. That's okay with me. I really don't mind you watching my videos. In fact, I'm glad you do. That's why I just got a comment. <laughs> uh, the the uh, referees when go the, so cowball is made of three people usually. We can well, I, I, the different variations of cowball are uh, eight teams and B we might actually do a um, we can actually do yeah teams which is maybe five seven maybe even nine people posting cowball which just no doesn't I mean it sounds right but it just we don't have enough t uh, enough people for that but. Every game, we switch. If four of us, we all came over, and two people would be playing, one person would be goalie slash referee, and the fourth person would operate the camera. And usually, I really like to be the first two people out there playing around and trying to make yourself the best. Okay. Um, and the question that I was going to ask before, but it escaped my mind, was... Will you upload any of these postseason games? So, so far, I don't know, I, I don't think I mentioned this, but the postseason games are unofficial, and by your own knowledge, it's just a real one. And so, so technically, who knows? I would like to do that. I uploaded one preseason game, and that was just to show you guys what Calvin was, and kind of, what the heck, I was drumable. And just kind of stuff. That was and so, yes, yeah, so I, I, I don't know about postseason games. Preseason games, I'm leaning on yes and no for this one. As opposed to preseason games, it was weird the first time, but if we make it look like a game like we had in the normal regular season, I think it would look really good. Okay. So postseason games, you can count on them, but don't expect them. Okay. So. For the people out there that are watching your videos, um, have you read any of their suggestions and like, I don't know, perhaps what they would like you to add into the game? Or if you would look, ask them to look into them and ask and tell them to make suggestions and yeah, so. Well, first of all, comments are usually just Dan for 88 saying something like, yeah, and the winner we're going die, blah, blah, blah. And so, so right now I don't have any suggestions, which means I, this, the size of my channel, I'm expecting it. I understand 
I'm small and not the biggest 40 million subscriber channel in history. I, mean, I understand that, so I'm not expecting a ton. But I, uh, so if I were to ask someone their suggestions, like for example, you the commentator, what do you, what do you do? What do you have for suggestions? What are your suggestions? Well, my suggestions would be to one, possibly have people bring, um, like, I don't know. Because it depends on your physical contact. I mean, if there's people getting pushed to the ground well, and wait, forgetting the ball. Can I, can I count on that? Yeah. Well, we do have some levels of contact. In the bowl games and the playoffs, we actually want full contact. Usually it's half contact. And another thing, hang on, I, I, I'll let you continue soon. Another thing I want to do during this uh, the postseason training is give you referee, or give people referee tests. So I'm going to want to make them eligible referees because looks like this season was a bit off the referees. They were calling fouls that didn't make sense. They were just doing stuff that I wasn't really proud of. And games really changed by the way referees played. I bet if I bet the results would have been really different if the referees were two referees and weren't blowing their whistles and calling trap calls all the time. So carry on. Um. Yeah. So if you had, since like you said, you had full contact in the playoffs and have contact during the normal seasons. Um. What are the, has anyone gotten hurt and what, and could you suggest them to bring gloves or something to protect their hands or knees? Well, this is the thing, because no one has actually gotten hurt before. Now, we've had people down, well, okay, we, <laughs> we, no one has actually gotten hurt before. I mean, people have been down for five seconds, but, I mean, recently in a postseason practice, or, well, now that the commentator's over, we actually did some cowbell together, and he's, I smashed his hand on accident. I'm sorry. And so, Mary hurt. So, so anyways, uh, we will not. I. It depends what kind of pad you bring in. If you're bringing these heavy football helmet pads, I'm gonna say no. Get out of here. You're either expelled or take the or <laughs> expelled. You're either suspended or take those off. But. I mean, if you just come in with some light, maybe padded gloves, I mean, I don't want you to waste money or anything, because, like, it's really, I mean, is, is it is it a rec safety recommendation? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. Because it's just really full contact. We try to stay away from really hurting each other, and we, we in normal season games, full half contact, it actually isn't that vicious, so... So, and uh, so, like, those, I mean, of course, there's always going to be the occasional push or shove, but there hasn't been anything bad, literally, thrown into the wall or just on the ground for minutes. In fact, i never seen anyone get one before besides just now, so. Okay. So, I think we got everything good. I think we now understand Cowboy a lot better than you do. So, the people that are watching that... If you didn't know what the heck they were playing, and it was just a freaking game to you, and they're like, oh, this is just funny as crap, now you know the game. It's and better, better. You don't know. Yeah, you know it better. And, by the way, I'm your commentator, CPT Blumish, and I'm going to be in this season. Number eight, CPT Yeah. Blumish. So, what's up, people? And... Can I add some stuff? Yes, yes, you can. Put it on a tripod. So, I, uh, we're going to the cowboy if any of you guys are questioning. Cowball, of course, is why this sport is probably so unique and that, I don't know what's wrong with it. But, um, well, if this sport is unique, it's probably because of the ball. This cowball is the ball we use to chuck into goals, and it's actually gone through a lot. It's actually from, like, 1980s, and it's actually running some kind of prize thought, uh, some fair or something. And it's actually from my, mom, my mom's aunt. So this is, you know where I got this one now. So it's gotten through a lot of wear and tear, and we will do our best to repair it. If it comes to a place where we're always selling it 24-7 and we can't use it, the gumball will be its initial replacement. And even if we can't use the gumball anymore, well, that is for them to be discussed. So anyways, I will, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, becoming a back-to-back -back national championship or cowball champion. And uh, it'd be nice to uh, season one, season two. And I would like to uh, say some stuff on the preseason, real quick. Um, preseason, oh, no, not the preseason, though. Season one, unofficial season one. Unofficial season one was me, Lake of Boy, Chase, and
and Will Dragons. We played a couple games and then we did a little playoff thing. Since Lego Boy through Sunday was just killing people, he, he was put in championship. Me and Will were played off in this little game. When we will we play Lego Boy through Sunday? And that then determined the season one rankings. So that's how we got season one rankings. And so. <laughs> so Daniel, Danny from our, uh, oh, Dan, Dan from 88, he says he was a newcomer, then it's, um, it's, we just threw him in at number four, and that's how we're doing it. So if you come in at, like, if you're, like, really good, but you come in, like, the last, you're going to be put at number eight, because you get registered at the time. So, stop doing that. So, yeah, so I think that's all I have for you guys. I'm looking forward to be in another, another champion. Who's, who's your favorite player? I would like to know that. Maybe put in the comments below or anything else. That would be not good to know. So, anyways, guys, 2 to 10 in and out. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And keep on gaming. Okay. But before we go, you got, you got something else? let's do 3, 2, 1, and then we're going to scream peace out. Okay? Ready? No, no. Ready? Ready. 3, 2, 1. Keep on peace gaming. Peace out. Yeah.